Hey everyone, it's Slavitz here, and I'm here for f hopefully the final video of Outlast. Um, I don't think I'm that far from the ending, but I honestly have no idea. Uh, so I just hope you guys enjoy, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can remember the buttons. Where did I leave off? Yeah, I was concerned about the batteries before, and it's definitely going to be an issue. It's something I'm realizing is the game looks like doubly dark for me because I have this light in my face. So, I, honest to God, cannot see anything without, uh, night vision on. I'm also not streaming this one, um, so I'm not going to have anyone chatting to me while I'm doing this, which is going to make the, me a lot more scared than, uh... If I didn't... Pray for revelation. Hmm. Are you dangerous? Oh shit! I didn't realize he turned around. <laughs> oh god. Wrong way, you doofus! <laughs> oh, my dog's scared. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very scared. If you could just, like, leave me alone, I'd appreciate it. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, thank God, batteries. All right, I hear creepy sounds. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Scared the shit out of me. Later, homie. Still chasing me? Yeah, here he comes. Can you actually see in the dark? I don't see anything glowing. Invite the wall rider. I thought I needed three. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I'm definitely missing one. What? Do I hear footsteps?
Oh, oh God. I don't know what the last thing is. Looking for something glowing. Nothing glowing. <laughs> um. Did I not explore that other room well enough? Oh, can I go through there? Uh. Uh. Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank God for batteries. Driving the nails. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I figured. Hmm. I'm stressed out, man. Guess I'll just make a run for it. Later. Is he chasing me? Come on. Wait, seriously? Did it go down? Okay, just heart speeding. Did it go down and I missed it? I don't actually know. Yeah, if I knew I heard. I'm so stressed out, man. Okay, um... It's still there. Uh... Hmm. Does it like drop it back where I came from? I don't remember... I don't remember... It's been a few days. I'm gonna do that. I mean, you see so much better without the camera. <laughs> but I have to get that ambiance. Now, I knew there's someone in the back there. Is this where it actually dropped to? It is. I don't see where it could have gone. Or am I just completely lost? Yep. 
I heard movement. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh... I am confused. Oh! Did I come in here? That was just stuff I didn't explore before. What do you know? <laughs> so this is when there's a jump scare, right? Little piggy or something. Ah, shit. You would. <laughs> Lord have mercy. God. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Uh, it's been a little bit of a rough day, too, so... Yeah, that about sums up my day. Um, so I thought, what better way to uh, improve my day than to have a nice relaxing playthrough of uh, my favorite game. Fall of the Blood. Hmm. <laughs> and like, I know I probably could get a... I could get a bit more juice out of these batteries, but I don't want to have to be forced to change them when I'm like running for my life and can't see shit. <clears throat> don't like that. Don't like that. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, uh. Oh my god. Where do I go? I'm so stressed out, man. I'm so stressed out. Um, like, that's obviously barred. Ooh, battery. <coughs> Don't mind if I do. <coughs> uh. Can I climb on the beds? <coughs> nice. <coughs> this is when someone walks in. Dark. Hmm. Ooh. Excerpt from the Diary of Shirley Pierce, Mount Massive Mental Hospital patient, 1952 to 1964. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply, even days later. Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy, but I want so much to get better. I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce. I make him suffer so. I've tried, subtly, to ask Miss Jackson if she's had similar issues with her husband, but she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. 
I know the doctors only mean well, and with the help of the government men who join the staff, I'm in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep, and hope for a more pleasant dreams tonight. Hmm. Sad. Hmm. Big ol' sad. So, that's where I'm supposed to go, which means I'll go this way instead. Or not. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good to know. Can like, yeah, I don't think the light actually affects how well I can see in here. I think it's meant to be pitch black. Mm. Obviously we go the other way of the arrows, right? Like that's exploration 101. Mm. And the arrows just led right back here. Are there any notes or anything? I lie. Oh. Hmm. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes? The facts? The records? They look like government agency material, at least 30 years old, probably older. I start thinking MK Ultra CIA. Mind control. The buzzing won't stop. God, the noises. <laughs> Is the wall rider friendly? Because, like, it hasn't really attacked me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't realize you guys were happy. It's the... It's the twins! Oh no. Is it the twins? I'm assuming it is. Oh sh Oh my good golly goodness. Oh it's insta kill? Oh I thought I could take a hit. <laughs> I thought I could take a hit and just run by. But um that's not the case at all. Okay, so Need to hide somewhere. Get under there. Alright, we cannot hide under there. Why'd you turn this way? Hope it's recording alright. I've had some recording issues. And since I'm not streaming this, I don't have the uh, backup on Twitch to um, download. Mm -hmm. Cheeks. Mm -hmm. Like that at all. And then this bust, and I have to get back up somehow, right? That looks like something I'm supposed to navigate. Unless it's in case I miss. There's a door there, too. Huh. No, my camera! Grab it! Screw the camera. No way, dude. Please. No more night vision. Oh my god. I have to go down? Oh my goodness. 
course it goes through that hole in the ground. That's just my luck. It's better lit, but I don't feel much better about it. And then someone comes through the doorway, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm definitely much <laughs> uh, happier when I have an audience actively view me on Twitch. I feel more courageous than uh, I'm feeling right now. Just a bundle of nerves at them. I thought that was a leg. God. Hmm. No flipping way it went that deep, dude. No way. Oh my goodness. Dude is the most unluckiest. It hurts. That hurt the back of my head. <laughs> right here. We're all friendly down here, right? Just want to know if there's like, I, I guess any uh, documents would be glowing. Hmm. Stressed out. Well, all I can do is run for it. <laughs> oh! Are they chasing me? Yes, they are! Yes, they are! They're chasing me! <laughs> and I'm in a dead end. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh god, I'm an idiot! Where am I? Wait, where do I go? I'm about to get hit again. Oh, I'm supposed to go up there, numbnard. <laughs> My eyes are tearing up. This is just straight up not okay. So obviously more stuff's gonna chase me. I want <laughs> the freaking bone is sticking out, dude. Hmm. Hmm. This is 
part coming up is the last part I ever saw on TikTok. <clears throat> Which is why I feel like this is indeed the, uh... It seems like there's some weird type of monster. I'm not 100% certain. Hey, dude. Mm. Friendly? Mm. Only one way out. Only one way. That way? Are you friendly? Goodness. How do you know you're not a patient? Fair. <clears throat> You'd have to be clinically insane to be going through this thing anyways. <sighs> God. My face isn't too bright, is it? It's hard for me to tell. Let me adjust the... Let me get a little time. Oh, there's someone down there. That is piggy man, ain't it? I don't think getting hit by him is a one-shot death, at least. <laughs> Heart is just pounding right now. <laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> please. Thank you. Don't like that. We don't like that. Mm. Mm. Wait, is this where I came from? When I was on the... That's where he picked me up and threw me through the window. Oh! I'm curious about something. Mm. <laughs> mm. What's through here? Mm. Um, this is just another way in. Oh. Hear the chains and then we'll go for it. Hey, Cindy. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Wernicke again for his therapy in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which isn't in the literature for benzodiazepine. In any case, his death, his dead doctor friend is filling his head with more German folklore. Apparently, the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric butterflies v vomited from a demon called Horicracy. The butter. It says butterflies, not butterflies. The butterflies suck the breath from the people's lips and drink blood from their nipples. They can also take the form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs, so Billy's got that going for him. 
Mm. I was just talking about the uh, pig dude. Mm. Mm. So is he trying to kill the wall rider? You'd mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are any of them by chance tattoos of butterflies? Next time I get outside of the Murkoff firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there's any actual basis in German folklore if Billy's making this garbage up from whole cloth. Would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine, winky face. Gets lonely up here on two. Kurt. <laughs> Oh shit, the dink in the uh, camera made me think there was um, someone down the uh, ventilator. Oh. The fact the music's playing, like, that's me. Has me a little scared. <laughs> Berlin, September 6, 1938. Translator from German. Reichsleiter, Lohner, and Dr. Med Roche. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke and his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened. But beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer regeneration, I believe Wernicke's method has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition, briefly but undeniably so. Please forward my note an invitation to witness further experiments to Dietrich Eckhart. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need be made aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dr. Wernicke's success represents an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Regards to your family, signature, and eligible. God, stop doing that. Hmm. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I'll watch a man burn to death, the most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place. I don't know when I got that one. Hmm. Oh, is those my footsteps now? You're very good. You're very good. Yes. Where are you going? Oh, is that the theater room?
Don't do that. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelov's anemic brother. <laughs> it's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatics, reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi, Nazi mysticism. Sounds kind of like the uh, Berlin sleep experiments. Was it Berlin? I don't remember. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. What? I'm not sure if we know what that is. Is it something in the brain or, or a mechanical thing? I don't know. It's been a while since I've done some of these recordings. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rorschach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Subject mm. achieved something supernatural. Mm. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Mm. Then what was it? You said Project Walrider mm. was a gateway. A gateway to what? So it's not a ghost? Mm. It's not supernatural. Hmm. Don't like that. I'll try to. Hmm. Subject. Flesh eating bacteria? Wash those hands regularly. <laughs> ah, my god! It <laughs> just blinded me and everyone watching this video. Oh no. If I do. <gasps> Just gonna chill. 
That one made my bones creak. Oh, God. <laughs> so, did another door open behind me? Like that. <clears throat> Gosh, I hate having this broken piece on the side. there's nothing else because chances are I'm going to have to start booking it. Oh, this door's open now. on that locker. Hmm. Don't like that. Hmm. Oh god, I can't go up there. Oh no, am I boxed in? Oh no, not like this. I'm not trapped, aren't I? Shit, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, God. Why, dude? Jerk. Is that Martin or a different crazy dude? Hello? Uh oh. You're just enjoying the rain. Can't judge you for that. I'm sorry for calling you crazy. It's very ableist. Hmm. sure I'm missing all kinds of stuff, but honestly, I am so out of my wits right now. I feel like my head's about to bust. <coughs> yeah, I gotta make sure to keep looking up. Oh. oh. Uh, don't mind me. Man, do 
like these inmates have master keys or something? Hmm. Surprised there hasn't been more stuff in these toilets. anything hmm. oh is this because this is Martin's place so everyone's very devout and well behaved hmm. his little corner of the uh, of the asylum I am an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, Wall Rider. Let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wraith. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Oh, I've been going. Not even an hour. So. Wall Rider. So, uh, Martin thinks of Wall Rider some type of godly entity uh, why did it go put like that Don't mind me. <laughs> God hates sickness. Yeah, he just wanted some privacy. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> God hates money. Hey there. You seem friendly. Oh! It's Larry and Curly. You guys are very keen on trying to kill me before. <coughs> so they're gonna do a sacrifice? My job. Well, oh! <coughs> this is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and he, here it Oops. is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. <laughs> and together we will be free. You are no this is crazy, Doc. Danger. I fixed the elevator. <laughs> it will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. <laughs> <laughs> What about Billy? Oh, my son. <laughs> I know part two has to deal with like a coven or something. Whoa. So, how much of this really is? Is it supernatural? Is it not? Is it left open ended? Do you get the answer if you get more of the journal entries? <laughs> so one journal entry seemed pretty evident. I can't believe Father Martin won up Jesus Christ himself <laughs> in crappy ways to die. Oh no! <laughs> and I don't believe I'm going to miss him a way out. If he's telling the truth, now I've got a way out and a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole freaking world. <laughs> nice to hear that my character saw some spunk. These guys still gonna let me out though? Um. Thank you. You're not gonna follow me, are you? I'm trying not to look down at the genitals. <laughs> then 
different billies at the end of the hallway. Oh god! <laughs> How do I know these things? Oh crap! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> oh no! Wrong way! Where am I going? Get up there! Holy cow! <laughs> I should have known that was going to happen. Should I be jumping down? I don't know if he's out there or not. God, I'm about to pee myself. <laughs> Whatever. Get me out of here. There's no way that's the end. Is he going to be waiting for me on one of these? I have a strong suspicion that's not... Wait. Wait, what? Did he lie to me? I should have known. What a twerp. Oh my god. the heck? <laughs> freak, 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 freak. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know, I know. Only crazy people say that, but I am as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Very things, sorry, my mutilated dead body. <clears throat> Trust no one, not even yourself. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. So this is very high tech look goodness. This is very high tech looking. Mm. It's like I just broke into the Resident Evil basement. Mm. Definitely betrays the um rundown asylum. Mm. Gosh, they're messed up. <clears throat> they're ripped apart. What happened? Something busts through those doors, doesn't it? well lit gotta gotta love that 
Hmm. I feel like that's not our last time seeing Billy. Hmm. <laughs> Project Wall Rider. Postmortem preparatory report MM130921. Form note. All material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corp records. See Form 4083. Author Jennifer Rowland. My 14th autopsy of a wall rider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. Swarm? So tired. Doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on ma major sperm protein. Well, definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed ni patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. So what these x-rays show is I have no idea. It's gotta be pleasant to come into. Alright. Okie dokie. Oh, it's the outside. Uh, blood? No blood. Easy. <coughs> Morphogenic engine. <coughs> This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Warnicky's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Hmm. So, is it supposed to be like... The engine is the person, you just have to rev it up with craziness? Hmm. What, what ripped all these people apart? Was it Billy? Can he get down here? Hmm. I guess it's not as well lit as I would have liked. Oh god! Wait, does that hurt me? Okay, yep, let's run, I guess. Alright, Wall Rider is not friendly. You don't like me too much. Oh no. No more <laughs> Okay. Yeah, get him. Gnarly. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. This is the way you die. Ripped to pieces from the inside, watching you your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Um so he looked this way, so should I go this way? <coughs> Oh, 
Is that Wernicke? I know, I, I know. I am supposed to be dead. No, no such luck. Hmm. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Bill. Hmm. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, poor idiot. <laughs> Trinity? Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. The cough discovered in my research a war command. Exocells in a human body into nano factories. So it's all nano machines. But I have to go mad to make it. Is Billy not dead? He, he, he looked kind of dead to me. I think I missed something on why Billy is important for destroying the wall rider, if that's what he's actually asking. I'm not sure. Can I, can I have this, please? Or is it broken? It's just the back that's broken. Do you need that for the whole gun? I thought that was just something you put against your uh, <coughs> shoulder. I'm sure they have like knives and stuff. Come on, man. This door's open too. And it's because that's where I'm supposed to go. So am I safe down here? I think Bailey got kind of messed up. Is he still going to be chasing me? <coughs> They're making it sound like he's not dead. Ambient sounds I don't appreciate. Oh, I should get in the kitchen. I'm sure I bet there's something interesting in there. Hmm. Do I have anything to be wary of down here? Is it just scripted encounters? I don't know. Having a vault spot right there is concerning. Hmm. Gee. 
Jeez. Whatever it is, ripped everybody apart. So it's nano machines that are somehow created through mentally ill people. <laughs> I guess the chemicals in their brain create the molecules to create the nano machines, which are somehow all morphed together into some ghost. What were they hoping to accomplish with these nano machines? I am. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I dead? Yep. Hmm. I wanted to go in those rooms to see if there's anything to explore, but it was a mistake. Hmm. Oh no. to all personnel from consultant MM008 Rudolf Wernicke. Do not worship the swarm nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such beliefs could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Interesting. Hmm. The assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted. Not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this. Hmm. So, is he like the main one making molecules? Is, is that what it is? Hmm. Hmm. Like, he's been so junked up on all these thoughts that uh mm. <laughs> is that Billy mm. <laughs> from Billy's patient reports he ought to be 23 years old he looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I could see killing you would be an act of kindness wow I'm sorry Is this just a pool of blood where someone exploded? Hmm. So how do I 
turn off your life support. This. Sub lab generator. Hmm. It's like, why are they give me a battery? Why are they giving me a flipping battery? Oh no. Mm. Hey there. How'd you get down here? Life support fluid reservoir. <laughs> this is Billy's Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support, a machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. F it all, break it all, he has to die. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> So who's the big hunk of meat that keeps chasing me? Hmm. I thought that was Billy. Hmm. I'll have to Google it later. Hmm. Hmm. Because they also said Billy's keeping me alive unless he like controls the wall rider or something. I I'm not fully understanding. <laughs> Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Mm, sounds cool. I don't know English major. Or literature major, rather. <laughs> There's no way I get chased doing this. Like, I only have one way to go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Oh god, am I being chased right now, or is it... <laughs> no goodness. <laughs> oh my gee willikers. <laughs> Help me, dude! <laughs> dude, that's some heck of a cardio. Give him the state of Sphinkies in. Sound effects, not liking that. How long is the stairway? Oh my jeez. Hmm. Drop the camera? Oh no he didn't. I I'm guessing this is the way I was supposed to go. Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiat Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Ornicky, having read the boy's dream probe reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Unfounded. They totally promised him that. That's the joke. Oh, just making it obvious that 
I got the joke. Hmm. Just pull them all. Who knows which is which? I guess back to Billy. Hmm. Hmm. Then it's waiting for me. It's like a six story drop. <laughs> what, wait, what do I do now? Am I supposed to do something with Billy? Billy's not in there! Oh, yeah, yes. Now what? Do I go this way? That is not the way I go. Uh, ah! It won't open. <clears throat> Did I go the wrong way? Um, where do I go then? <clears throat> do I go back to the life support room? That doesn't make much sense. Hmm. Must be a button I'm supposed to press somewhere. No buttons. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh. oh wait, is that a document? Was that a document? Oh no. Oh. It is a document. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. <laughs> I just dead? I didn't explode this time. Hmm. <laughs> Markov Psychiatric Systems Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule To avoid patient injury, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1, the enriched, oxygenated, perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Model System 2, electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3, in the case of catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support for functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Sorry, Billy. Billy is dead, the wall raider, the swarm, whatever it is, and made with him. Whether I escape or die here, I am free. It didn't look like uh, the wall rider dissipated. It looked like it went in my body. I feel like I'm uh, possessed or something. Man, my guy got messed up. Literally went through hell. We can make it, dude. Just, just a little further. Hmm. Keep that camera on. Nope, nope. Keep the camera on. 
Just a little bit, just a little bit further. Mm. This is. Well, he's possessed by the thing, right? Mm. So does my guy still have like consciousness? What a game, man. She whiz. <laughs> oh. That took a lot out of me. Not even an hour thirty for that. Last bit, so <laughs> I just hope it recorded fine. Um, dear God, just let me get through all this before I have final thoughts. I'm drained. I am mentally drained from that. Horror games definitely aren't my cup of tea, as I've said before. And, um, but I know some of my reactions... I know my reactions are, are uh, genuine. Um, I get a lot of TikToks of people playing horror games and like they really feel hammed up. And maybe people think I'm hammed up too. Who knows? But, um... Hopefully, my reactions are still somewhat entertaining for whoever decides to stumble across my video and give it a watch. It's probably bad to have longer videos. I'm gonna assume they get less watches, but... Credit Stewart's thing. credits. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Are there any after credits goodies or looks like no. <laughs> Ok, 
Come on. I don't want to start talking and it cuts the happen. Granted, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I'm mentally boomed. Um. Well, anyways, that is Outlast. Um, not too long of a game, but definitely intense the entire way through. Um, uh, that one was infinitely harder to get through than Soma for me. Um, Soma was still scary, but this one just like gave me such a feeling of dread going through some of these sections, and it's <laughs> that was it was rough. <laughs> but uh. I appreciate so much everyone who's watched through this series and actually gotten to this point to listen to me speak. I I appreciate every single person who's ever clicked on a video of mine or even watched any of my TikTok clips. It's it means so much to me. This is um something I've always wanted to do and I never expected to get any sort of traction from it. But it's still just me putting myself out there and seeing what happens and um I have a lot of pride in being able to actually go through and do it. Because you, you, you go through so many reasonings of, I can't do this, I shouldn't do this, or I don't have time. Um, you know, you, you go through every excuse you can. And I, I was absolutely guilty of that, but I'm glad I finally said screw it and went through with it. Um... Is it supposed to be loading? I don't know if there's like a cutscene loading or anything, but um, and then I was trying to do stuff on Twitch as well at the same time as this, but um, time really is a factor at the moment, so probably going to abandon Twitch for the time being. Um, I may resume it again at a later date, but for now, I'm probably just going to keep recording videos. I still have. A bit of a backlog of horror games to play on Steam that I've never touched. Um, I got Resident Evil Village. I have Alien Isolation. Um, some, there's some others, but and then I'm always constantly adding new ones. So we'll we'll see what my next project will be. Um, leaning towards Alien Isolation, but I know that one's going to be every bit as rough as this one and that is one I've seen a full playthrough of so some stuff won't surprise me much but it has a very smart AI so it probably won't matter much in the end I'm still going to be terrified I don't think anything else is going to happen um so I'm probably going to end the video here. And if there's nothing else after here, it means I cut it out because it really was nothing. So you're not missing anything, I promise. But again, I appreciate everyone who's come to watch my stuff. And I hope you all have a lovely day. And I appreciate you all so, so much. See ya.